What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping into the next one on our bloody wood journey. This is Yad Indian folk metal. We already did Indian street metal. So this should be interesting. They bring us something new and hard. Hard as hell every time. So let's jump right into this. I appreciate you if you're here watching this. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Do you remember when I said I would love you forever? And you thought it would only last as long as we were together. For the past and the past lost, but it made me better. I had to feel love to feel lost. Yeah, I feel that now more than ever. You're never gonna be lost. Your fire burns beneath the frost. An empire built between my thoughts. Crisscrossed across the line, they can be crossed. Okay, the wordplay here is phenomenal. He's got some bars going on here. He's like I say, hey, y'all know if you rock with this channel, I'm not a bar catcher. I catch the bars that catch me. So let's jump in first. Had to feel love to feel loss. That's how can you know what loss feels like if you never had anything to lose? That makes sense. So he's obviously been in love. He's lost it. Now he's feeling it more than ever. He said he would love her forever. And apparently she thought that that, was, that meant only as long as we're together. That's not what forever means. Like Forever is forever, forever. It doesn't matter what happens to me and you. If I love you, I love you. As long as we were together for the past and the past lost, but it made me better. I had to feel love to mm. be lost. I fought the past and the past, but it made me better. I'm gonna be lost. Your fire burns beneath the frost. An empire built between my thoughts. Crisscrossed across the line. There can't be crossed. A million memories in this melody. Singing to me. Smile. This is the way it's meant to be. Hold on. Did he write this song for the dog? This took on a whole new level of awesome right now because I thought he was singing about a girl. But now, like, the visuals are telling me something different. Maybe he wrote this song for the dog. Maybe that dog was his one life. And you know what? A lot of people out there, their animals are their love. Like, nothing and nobody in the world is going to love you as unconditionally as a well taken care of and well loved pet. That's facts. Like, your dog is never just going to get angry at you for no reason. Your dog, if you love your dog, your dog is going to love you back with the love that, like, no, but no human can give you. Mistake. 
This is a fucking super beautiful video. Like, legit. If this dude is like, wrote this song just for his dog who's no longer with him, that is sad as shit. Because if you've never had to put down one of your dogs, or if you've never lost a pet like that, that you actually were, I don't know, it seems like your pet's imprint on you. And that's like the, only, the best way to put it. If you've never like had to go through that, which most dog lovers have, to keep them around for a while, to keep them around until they're no longer able to take care of themselves or no longer able to get around. And then they go and they have them put down. So that is like, this is totally reminding me of all of my pets that I've ever owned because they've all been almost like your children. Super sad video so far. Um, Definitely looks like he's 100% talking about the dog because the dog is getting older as we go through this. It's probably going to end up being something fucking tragic at the end. You guys are going to get another show and I'll be over here like, oh, this fucking dog. Let's go. It's like the most epic dog tribute ever. Here we go. It's gonna be the tragic ass part. It's got all sad and quiet on us. <laughs> As long as we were together, do you remember when I said I would love you forever? And you thought it would only last as long as we were together. Hi guys, this is Karan. I want to thank you for watching this video. Yad, which is Hindi for in memory or remember, is a song about overcoming the loss of a loved one. As a dog owner or a pet owner, it's a certainty that at some point of time in your life, you will be faced with the loss of your pet. Along with that loss is accompanied a lot of emotional trauma, but also a huge sense of guilt, where you'll find yourself asking whether you did the right thing, whether what you did was enough, whether you could have done something differently. And if you're going through something like this, through the song, we want to let you know that even though there's a void that they leave behind when they go, they also leave you with a gift. That very rare, exceptional gift is knowing and experiencing unconditional love and forgiveness. And we want to tell you that the only way to honor their time in our lives is by imbibing those values within you and giving back.
as much as you can. Okay, now don't skip this video. There's something really important I want to talk to you about. India has a huge homeless animals population. Literally everywhere you look, you'll find homeless dogs That's on every street. That's the same thing here in Thailand. They end up suffering road accidents, extreme starvation, diseases and unfortunately a lot of human brutality. There's yep. not much that's been done in terms of animal welfare, so it's up to us to do as much as we can. Now amongst us live heroes who really champion this purpose. They're basically not-for-profit, non-government organizations that are run by animal lovers. And one of those organizations is the Posh Foundation, where we are at today. Posh Foundation deals with rescue, rehabilitation, adoption and animal birth control of these homeless animals. Very recently, the van that they used to rescue these animals broke down due to overuse and became completely un Usable. So from the money that we made on Raj Against the Machine tour last year and through Patreon, we funded this new van to the Porsche Foundation. That's now fantastic. this van, which they'll be using as their new ambulance, will take a total of 10 to 15 calls each day. And it's going to run for at least 5 years. So that's a total of 27,000 animals potentially saved. That's a huge number. It's by far the purchase that we're most proud of. We want to thank our patrons for sticking around with us and making it possible for us to do this. And that's it from us. If you like the video, if you like what we do, please share this video. It really helps us go a long way. And if you really want to support us, the best way to do that would be through Patreon. Uh, you can head over to patreon.com and donate any monthly amount that you see fit. Uh, and join the amazing family that makes all of this possible. So, we'll see you very soon with the upcoming documentary and the next song. Until next time, we love you all. Thanks once again for watching till the end of the video. We'll see you next time. Bye -bye. Bloody word. We're behind, behind the scenes. We're behind, 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 behind the, the scenes. scenes. Behind the scenes. And I'm expecting any day today. Any day today. Can I be the godfather? These guys are fucking awesome. Why am I the father? I'm not sure if you're a a He's got to be cold with his hair. It's a brilliant face. Okay, <laughs> what was that? And that gift the white is. Dog did that. I'm getting you. Like it. Jealous dog. Hello, here. Ask him permission, Jen. Hello, here. You're the map, Ali Bazi. You don't want to ask for permission in India. <laughs> so you think you're metal? <laughs> Are you this metal? Fucking <laughs> tourist. You fucking tourist. Okay, that was fucking amazing. Seriously, seriously amazing shit right there. Yo, you guys gotta tell me where we're going next with Bloody Wood. That was awesome. These guys are fantastic human beings. Like, definitely go support them on Patreon. I'm gonna be getting on their Patreon either today or tomorrow for sure. Because if they're doing good shit like that, you know, we're all about that. We're all about, like, helping. We're all about... That's, this platform... Is being built so that I can do things like that to where I can help people and actively you know be a decent be a decent fucking human being I mean that's the bottom line to it so hey and it's very very true like people out there non pet owners and non animal lovers out there will never understand like that bond between you and your pet and when they do go, they do leave a void. And there's been, like, all kinds of studies and shit that show that, hey, that love between and that unconditional love that you can see in their eyes is good for you. Like, they take animals to the old people's shelters, and they do things like that. And pe it helps. 
the, all of the P, all of our vet, a lot of our veterans that are suffering from extreme PTSD have dogs. Like they can even do deep pressure therapy and shit on them when they start freaking out. Like dogs are our pets are important. It's very very important that we actually like give a damn and take care of them. Yo, go show Bloody Wood some love for sure because if they're doing great things like this, we need to be a part of it. If you guys enjoyed this content as much as I did, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. Check out one of my other videos that's up here floating around. Subscribe if you want to see more content, possibly your content, and to join the greatest family on one of the fastest growing YouTube channels at the moment. It has to be. We have to be. There's no possible way that we're not. It's right over here. The little button. That's all you got to hit. Nothing but peace, love, and positivity on this channel. Until the next one, love y'all to the moon and back. This is highly combustible. I'm out of here. Peace.